Using accounting software makes life so much easier. What's even better is selecting cloud-based accounting software so that you can access your file from anywhere with an internet connection. There are a number of different options out there, such as QuickBooks Online, which is the most popular for small businesses. There's also Xero, spelled X-E-R-O, and this one on our screen, Wave, which we're going to be using today. I had heard of Wave a while back, but a couple of months ago, I had hired an electrical contractor to do some work on my house, and he sent me an invoice through Wave. So I figured I'd check them out. You can set up an account and use the software for free, which is really good for cost conscious people. However, if you decide to use their credit card processing service or payroll service, then they charge for that. Wave could really be good for people who are just starting a business and don't really require a lot of bells and whistles. If you're going to be doing your own bookkeeping and you've got a pretty simple business, perhaps you should give Wave a try. I have uh, Wave on my screen right now, and you can check them out at waveapps.com. This video is being recorded on May 2nd, 2022, so depending upon when you're watching this video, your screen may look a little different. As far as the products that are built into the Wave accounting platform, you've got the accounting and invoicing which taking care of both of these, it's, it's free. If you decide to have them uh, process your credit card transactions, they do charge for that and also for their payroll. But if you have a simple business and you don't require these two, then your accounting and your invoicing, it's all free. Going over here to the pricing tab, you can see down here where the accounting and the invoicing options, they are free. And if you decide to use the credit card processing service, then you've got your, your typical fees here for um, credit card processing and payroll, uh, monthly payroll fees, if that's what you decided to do. So I'm going to go ahead and create a free Wave account now, and I will see you in the next video. After you've entered your email address and password and clicked Create Free Account, you'll be brought to this screen, step one of four. On this page, you will enter your uh, name, the business name, and then you will select a category for, you know, in the industry in which your business operates. Now, this is really important because this will customize your chart of accounts. The chart of accounts is a listing of all the accounts that you will use to categorize your business transactions. You have asset accounts, liability accounts, equity, revenue, and expense accounts. Now there are standard accounts that most businesses will use, but by selecting your industry or one very similar will allow your software to suggest some other accounts that are typically used in your specific industry. So we're going to set this up with a fictional business. The owner's name is Derek Jensen. The name of the business is On The Go Gaming LLC, and they are a gaming retailer and then we are going to select our category and they have one here for retailers resellers and sales so we will click that and then we will click on next now on step two of the process wave wants to know how you're going to be using wave accounting so it's asking you to choose a starting point we're not going to be sending professional invoices we do want to use Wave Accounting to manage our accounting. Uh, payroll, we will go ahead and set up later on. And if you're not sure how you're going to be using Wave, you can go ahead and click on this option. But we're going to click on Manage Our Accounting so we can get things set up. In step three, you're asked three questions. And this is just to get Wave a better understanding of how you'll be using the software. The first question is, how do you manage your accounting? Now, since this is a new business and our business owner, Derek Jensen, hasn't set up any books yet, we're going to click on, I haven't started yet. The second question is, do you work with a bookkeeper or accountant? And he's going to be doing it on his own. And then the final question is, do you run payroll? So now he is going to hire a couple of employees, but he hasn't hired them yet. So we're just going to click on not yet, but I want to start. And then the final question is, who do you have on your team? And then he's going to have um, employees. 
Now this is the final step in the process of getting set up and there's a few questions here. Wave wants to know how long have you been running your business and since this is a new business we're going to click under a year. What type of business do you have? And the owners have set this up as a limited liability company so we will click LLC here. What type of LLC? Since there's two of them, Derek and his wife, it's going to be considered a multi-member LLC. Do you have a business bank account? They've already set up their account, so we are going to click on yes, I have a business bank account. And it's very important when you're starting out a business that you keep your personal and your business expenses separate. The final question is how do you usually pay your business expenses? And for this, we're going to say both debit and credit equally. And then we're going to click on continue to accounting. Take a few seconds for this to get set up. And this is the home page. Now you will also get an email from Wave welcoming you to your new account. So make sure that you uh, check your email and click on that to verify your email address. Now that we've actually created our account, we do have to do some housekeeping before we end up getting too far. The first option here is to import data automatically, but before you do that, we want to make sure that our chart of accounts reflects all the proper accounts that we need before we start importing anything. Otherwise, you'll have to recategorize things after the fact. So the options here are import data automatically, manage transactions, Add sales taxes is where you would add the different taxing agencies you know, specific to your location. Uh, customized chart of accounts. And then if you needed any help, you could click on hire an expert. And this wraps up this video on creating a free WAVE account. In future videos, we will actually go through each of these different sections inside of your WAVE account and give you a better explanation as to how to um, handle each of those uh, specific areas. Thank you very much for watching.